Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy alumni man hitting you up. We're gonna get right down into it, man. Tonight it went down the known night of the main events. You are a rap battle. I got the whole recap for you, got the whole rundown, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Respect the report. First off, starting off, they had B Magic versus Charlie Clips. You know, B Magic is coming up and hard, you know, just came off the proving grounds. You got Charlie Clips. You know what I'm saying? Top tier already up there. You know, you main man's with DNA. They went at it. And I started to look up to be real strong for what I'm hearing, the way it went down, man. The same, same B Magic cleared that one. So B Magic cleared that. No no questions asked, man. He's already spawned a 2 2 1 B Magic way. There were some tough bars in there, man. Heard people got called out in that one right there, man. And Smack come with that footage straight up and down. I said, you know, we had DNA versus Chinchilla. So when DNA went in there, straight up the rips, and DNA pulled out the little fake two, said, hey, the old DNA is back. Uh, I heard a couple of, a couple of clips, was, um, a couple of 15-minute vids was, was posted up on InstaVid. You check those out. Check out Hip Hop DX on um, Insta Instagram. You want to check out some of those. They say DNA came through and just... So he took it home on that one right there. So shots out to DNA. I've been following DNA for a minute. Chilla Chilla Jones, you know what I'm saying? Chilla Jones, I mean, probably got, you know. But, you know, it's pretty much 2-1. You know, however you want to call it. But they saying pretty much it's an easy win for uh, DNA. Next up, we had Big T and K-Shine. K-Shine, you know, Dot Mob, Big T, you know, he represents St. Louis. I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of leaning towards K Shine on this one, you know what I'm saying? I like his style, his aggression, I like the way his skins, where he come up. But, hearing K Shine choked in the third round, her second round really wasn't feeling too much of his stuff. They say Big T body that man, three zip. They say Big T body him, three nothing. One thing I ain't mad about Big T, I follow Big T on Instagram and, uh, and uh, Twitter. You ain't hear too much talking from Big T. You know, his Instagram just had like the same picture up for the last two, three days or whatever his last picks. But I know he was making his rounds, like his PR, you know, he had just stopped by. This is 50.com and a couple other spots, you know. k on the other hand, you know, his Instagram he was going to pool parties and cookouts and all that stuff there, displaying clothes and all that stuff there or whatever. So it might have been on the focus side on that there, but uh, pretty much just like what I'm hearing. Whew. Body. Then, from what I hear after that, Adrian Broner, you know, he just had a big boxing match the day before at Barclays against Pauline, beat him. Now, on, on Instagram, Mr. Vid, or what have you, they was, he was up there saying he was going to battle Murder Moot. He was going to crush Murder Moot, kind of just like a running joke, you know what I'm saying? But, obviously, they did go at it. They did battle. They did like a one-round thing, from what I hear. Got up on stage, did a little one-round thing or whatever. They say Adrian Broner got bars. Now, we'll actually see this footage. I don't know. You know, Smack like to have a couple of, have a couple of things hidden up in the vault. So, I don't know if we'll ever actually get to see that if he wasn't there or whatever. But, they say, uh, Moog threw a couple of bars at him. Adrian threw a couple of bars back at Moog. It was kind of like a one round, just a little thing or whatever, intermission type thing, you know. Hopefully, we'll all get to see it. The next up, we had Hitman Holler versus Conceited. I'm up here getting these updates in right now, man. Just checking them, check them up on the note, man. You know what I'm saying? Going at it. Now, me, I was one for um, Hitman Holler. You know, I like the way he skins. He like to run it with the remix and run it back and run it back. Conceited, you know what I'm saying? He got to slow it down. I just dished you, you know what I'm saying? You know, he been doing his thing. You know, you can check out for him on the um, Nick Cannon's Wildin' Out. That's coming back because that airs July 9th or whatever. Check for that there. And uh, they say, right now, they saying, like, they say Hitman's first round is, like, the best round in URL history. That's what's going down. And they're saying that battle was straight classic. Uh, they say third round got kind of etchy, uh, saying uh, Hitman caught a couple of booze because he was recycling bars. And then I caught a, I caught a twit from him. He said the reason why he was recycling bars, it was part of a scheme to have the people thinking he didn't have a third round, which he did. But... The blues and I guess people's first perception kind of over torn over on uh, over through that, so it really didn't go down the way you wanted to. But it was a clear, it was a clear win for Hitman Hall. So uh, conceded do what you do there. And I say conceded was, they say conceded was with him ball for ball, ball for ball. So uh, I 
don't take that from him. Don't take that from him at all. Um, let's say we had uh, Howl the Dom with the Sea Surf. Now they say this is one of the ones that we have been pretty looking for. Uh, Howl the Dawn had been away, been locked up for a minute, so he ain't bothered him about about a year or what have you. Sea Surf, you know what I'm saying? Straight from Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Just with the height of it. Uh, from what they say, even Soups, even Hollow Dawn said, you know, you have to start checking out other leagues or whatever. But he say one him, uh, one um, Sue Surf, and the other ones, you know, pretty much debatable up in the air or whatever. So he's not even saying that he won. He ain't even saying he lost. But you know, it was a good battle doing through. And some of the bars that was quoted that I'm looking at, I can tell y'all, you cats putting work on each other. So wait for that footage to drop, see what that's going on, like see what that going to be like. But he's saying, you know, Sue Surf definitely saying he he took a win or bodied or whatever, you know. It's, you know, Sue Surf, he going with uh, Joe Bud and official lights and all that stuff there or whatever. So, you know, anyway, it is what it is. And then we got that uh, Disaster versus T Rex. That's funny, what I'm noticing too with Smack. Smack can put up a Smack can bring up like a wild card. Some of you not necessarily in that rap league from another league, you know, Diz. He from the um you know the K dot circuit you know King of the dot and uh, like I know last year on some madness too that like that last battle was between Moot and Iron Man Solomon once again Iron Man Solomon really is not in I don't think he's in no rap league really per se right now but you know he's not definitely not you on our rap battle and then on top of that he he represents that leather shade just like just, just like Diz did. And you know, that one right there, you know, it was like an easy win for Luke, Luke just, just demolished Iron Solomon. He wasn't built for that type of stage anyway, just being honest with Iron Solomon's rhyme style and everybody else in the URL rap style. So this one we had Diz, and we found Diz, you know, Diz is real loud, real vocal, real loud. And I say again, you know, we battled T Rex. And uh, from what I'm gathering, they saying that was 2 1 Diz's favor. So they saying they came out strong, you know, one round. T Rex went around for Diz and they saying towards the end got kinda iffy, a couple of booze ensued, but they saying Diz pretty much kinda pulled it out. You could easily say it was Diz two, Rex one, or you could say it was Rex two, Diz one. I guess depending on what type of style you like to reach person or whatever, man. And uh, pretty much heard it was a good battle. Um heard of some big, 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 big VIPs in the building. Q tip, Adrian Boner, Staley from MMG was in there. Kevin Durant was in there from what I heard, holding it down. Bottle was in there. Um, who else have I heard was up in there? Try and think, try and think, try and think. No, there was some, there was some other people up in there too going crazy, man. And uh, I gotta tell you, man, it was a good event. Said somebody passed out. <laughs> uh, somebody got kicked out for trying to videotape. Um, but still, at the same time, I say too, with, with the technology nowadays, like you say, with Instagram upgrading to InstaVid slash, so if you search the net, you can catch a couple of quick 15 second um, spots of, of actual battles of that event. So hopefully, all these events, you know, up, get uploaded. I know, you know, Smack gonna take his time, he's gonna dock them up, set them up right. But who knows what type of battles are taking place right now? Might be another, might be another Hitman and Baron of Funeral going on or whatever. But hey, that's what I got from here. That's what I'm saying. More to come. Check them out when they get low. Hey, put your views at the bottom. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Put your comments at the bottom. If you was there or you found some of these entries, put your comments at the bottom. That's what it is. You know what it is. Alumni, I'm out here. Respect the reporter.